Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dr. Twisted's Toy Time. Sorry I haven't put up any videos this past week, but um, yeah, I was busy spring cleaning last weekend, and I went out to a couple garage sales and found like three, three good items, but that was pretty much it. I didn't go out to any thrift stores, but I sure made up for it this week I went out to a few yard sales and a couple thrift stores today and picked up a bunch of stuff so uh, let me get on with this uh, pretty massive haul so let me start off with these I got these window boxes I only put one here but there was actually four of these exact same things one of them was missing the glass, but the next yard sale I went to, there was three big sheets, probably it's the same width, but about two, three times bigger than this panel here of plexiglass, brand new, still has a little plastic on it, so I'll have that to replace the one that's missing the glass and then extra for other stuff that I need it for so that was awesome I got all four of these which are pretty big and they're nice solid solid wood got all four of them for three dollars I couldn't believe it these things are usually really expensive especially with glass but now on to other stuff stopped at a thrift store today and they had this Transformers volume 4 fire in the sky VHS it's a GI Joe Cobra stops the world VHS And the Thundercats Spitting Image VHS, which I thought that was awesome. So you don't find those FHE VHSs very often. To continue with the VHS finds, found this whole set of Pink Panther movies, which I love these growing up. These things made me laugh so hard, but I mean, I got five of them in the set, which is great. Now I just need to find a VCR. <laughs> Cause I don't, my VCR busted, so I don't have it, but I've been finding a lot of awesome VHS lately. And then we found this unrated version of, uh, or unrated special edition of Boondock Saints, which is an awesome movie. So I believe that's all the movies. Now let me start with the with the toys here. I will move the stuff I'm keeping over here, which is one of these big knockoff ninjas here. I love those. So I'm keeping that. Uh, this Kermit little Kermit plush. I think he looks awesome. I'm keeping him. Okay. Now this red Power Ranger. Got him for a quarter at a yard sale. I'm keeping him. And let me see. What else am I keeping? I'm keeping this G.I. Joe here that I found. Stopped at a yard sale and they had like 50 cent bags and a dollar bag. So I got him in one of the bags. Which had me happy on this little skateboard magnet guy for some reason I just I keep these I stick them on my comic cag comic cabinets there's a skateboard I'm gonna use for one of my custom figures um, there's another toy that was in one of the bags with the G.I. Joe thought he was awesome 
I usually don't collect these. I usually give them to friends and whatnot, but this one I actually really like. <laughs> Makes me laugh. So I'm keeping that. And I'm keeping this here pirate. I think it's from 1991. Tristar Pictures. Not sure what it's from, but this dude rocks. I mean, check out that face. Kind of looks like the focus. There we go. Kind of looks like the SpongeBob SquarePants intro guy. <laughs> I think that's what I'm keeping. Well, actually, I'm keeping this little Jurassic Park dinosaur. This thing here, which is a Power Rangers sword. It's hard to do with one hand, but you're supposed to. Twist that, and the blade blade shoots out. It turns into a big sword. And you hit the trigger. Make some awesome sword noises. And you can push that back. There's a button on the side here. You push. And you can turn back into the gun, I guess. And then you can turn it off. Stop making noises. I'm going to keep that for a little bit. We have fun with my daughter. And I'm keeping this little a rhinoceros car for my daughter but I believe those are the toys I am keeping the rest of these can be up for trade here's this lion I already have one so this is a dupe maybe trail mixer would want this I'll put this stuff over here there's this. I know Brian Starner collects these. I don't know if he has this one. If you don't have it, let me know. I'll put it in your box. If he does, then it'll be up for trade. This little uh, Luigi. Hey, I'm a Luigi. Is this Disney? Disney deal up for trade there's a Fisher old vintage Fisher Price sheep there's a Ninja Turtle snackosphere still on card I don't know if Bionic Turtle might want that or Somebody else might want it. This little McDonald's girt bird girl. She was in one of the bags I got at the yard sale. Same with most of that other stuff. Little Spectre. So I might keep him. I don't think I have this one. This is Pirates of the Caribbean compass. I know Overlord likes this kind of stuff so I picked it up. Pretty much finishes off his bigger box. Not much room left. Let me know if you want that Overlord. There's a little Robin finger puppet. Thought that was funny. Scooby Doo. Might be keeping this. I think I have it already. I can't. I don't know. I'll have to check. But if somebody wants it, let me know. I'll put it in your box. There's this Pink Panther. Or not Pink Panther. Why am I? Got the VHS. Plastic Man. It started with a P. With this bendy figure. He's up for trade. 
and this big bug also thought maybe trail mixer might want that otherwise I'll probably keep it and there's these little glasses I figured I could use for a custom figure or something okay this is the one of the Toy Story horses the cool thing is the the legs are all bendable so I th had to pick that up I thought that was neat I think the neck is the head is bendable too but that is up for trade if somebody wants it is this uh, Mario I believe it's a DS holder switch and carry so I don't know if Carlos might want this for if he has a DS system or if somebody has a DS system pretty cool but somebody might want that <laughs> this awesome I think I believe it's a soap or a sponge dish but it's a frog with horns and I gave that to my wife and she loves it but I wanted to put it in the video but that is hers on this pack of awesome vintage very old wood puzzles and this one with uh, Bert and Ernie play school I believe that one is 1976 there's this Charlie Brown one. Charlie Brown always says 1958, but I never put the actual date it came out, but it was probably in the 70s as well. And then there was this uh, Dumbo. Get the light off it. This one didn't have a date on it, but it's probably also 70s. But I thought those were really cool. There's some books. The illustrate an illustrated book of bad arguments. I thought that looked funny, so I had to pick it up. The Lego Ninjago Attack of the Nindroids. I pretty much got it for the stickers. There's a pack of stickers in there. And I stick stickers all over my. I moved my comic book cabinets up here. As you can see here, I put all my stickers on my cabinets. So. I put them on my desk too, so whenever I find different stickers or whatever to fill in gaps and whatnots, then I pick them up. And then my daughter can have the book, or if somebody else wants the book, they can have it. Here's a Plants vs. Zombies, the three little pigs fight back. My daughter loves playing Plants vs. Zombies game, so I thought this would be good for her, plus it has stickers. So yay! Captain Underpants. I mean, I'm I'm old. I'm not old, but I'm older than the age range of these books. But I I love these things for some reason. They're like crack. But this is the twelfth uh, book, and it's Captain Underpants and the Sensational Saga of Sir Stinks a Lot. These are lots of fun to read, especially when you have a kid. This was a cool find. This Fear magazine. It's from uh, 1989. has all kinds of cool stuff in it. But I didn't know if... I know Carlos likes the horror movies as well. Maybe. I figured... If you would want this magazine, I will throw it in your box. After I'm done reading it, of course. And I got this 
Lego Ninjago with a visual dictionary. I mean, it's a really cool book. I mean, it's missing the figure here, but it has a, all kinds of cool, cool pages of all the sets and figures and vehicles and all kinds of cool stuff. So I thought that was awesome. Moving right along, we got this Chuck E. Cheese oven here. Came with the instructions, the big uh, pizza remove removal thing. There's two little pizza pans in here, and a couple tools. And it still has two boxes of unopened pizza mix. But it's kind of funny because, you know, best if used by May 2000. It came out in 2099, so that was figured that was an awesome score. Now on to the actual, like more epic finds. Really, went to a thrift store today, didn't find anything but this bag of old vintage 80s weapons, which I about crap myself because it was only. Let me look at the tag here, 50 cents. And there's Mo2, TMNT, Transformers, G.I. Joe, and there's like knockoff Mo2. There's all kinds of weapons and such. Some of them are broken, but most of them are just awesome. I and mean, you never ever find bags of weapons. So I thought that was great. Moving along, found this little Snoopy chair, which my daughter loves that, so she's keeping that. I found this Ewok Village, but it's missing a couple of the fence pieces, one of these fire things, the little drum, the chair that C3 Peak. P.O. goes in and the net underneath, but it has the rock, the elevator, an extra elevator, and this ladder, which I don't think this ladder went with it. I think the ladder that went with it was brown, but still, it works perfectly for it. Moving on, got this awesome Tron collector's case, which is freaking awesome. This is not for trade. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping the Ewok Village. If anybody has extra parts, I know Brian Starner said he had some extra parts for me. Hopefully it's ones I need. That would be awesome. Moving right along. My camera's about to die, so I got this awesome, awesome gremlin here. I love this guy. Not for trade. And the last piece I never see these and when you never see something you pick it up it is a chair but it is a Power Ranger I believe that's what he looks like anyway thinking maybe I, I might add some paint apps to it just to make it pop a little but I thought that was really cool and there you go I believe that is all my epic thrift store find let me know if anybody wants any of the trade stuff and until next time thanks so much for watching peace